What is up guys, Flash Taco here, and this is part two of the history of the San Francisco Giants. So recently I just got back from my second trip to San Francisco with my friend Sam. We were down there for four days and we had a wonderful time down there. I love the city and I'm going to keep going back. So to begin part two, we have to go back to 1957 during the big move. San Francisco welcomed the Giants with open arms. They had a great parade for them, and for the first two years, the Giants played in the Seal Stadium. The stadium was originally home to the San Francisco Seals, a minor league baseball team in San Francisco, California that played in the Pacific Coast League from 1903 until 1957 before their transfer to Phoenix, Arizona. In 1960, after two seasons of playing in Seal Park, the Giants moved to the now iconic Candlestick Park. In 1962, after two seasons in Candlestick Park, and another memorable pennant chase with the Dodgers, which resulted in a second three-game playoff series with the Dodgers after 1951, which the Giants again won by coming from behind with three runs in the ninth inning in Game 3. The Giants brought a World Series to San Francisco, only to lose it four games to three to the New York Yankees. The seventh game went to the bottom of the ninth inning, with the Yankees ahead by one. And the Giants with two outs, Matty Awu on third base and Willie Mays on second. It was all up to Willie McCovey to hit the ball, who would have likely won the series for the Giants. But Bobby Richardson caught the ball, ending the game. Between the years of 1963 and 1970, not a lot happened with the Giants. They were pennant contesters in the later 60s, and McCovey won the National League MVP award in 1969. In 1971, after the Giants won their division, they were easily defeated in the league championship series by the Pittsburgh Pirates. And in 1972, Candlestick Park was converted from grass to AstroTurf. Throughout the decade, the Giants gave up many players who became successful elsewhere, including Gary Maddox, George Foster, Dave Kingman, and Gaylord Perry. In the year 1976, Bob Leary bought the team, saving it from being moved to Toronto, Canada. Toronto was later awarded the Blue Jays. The years following the save by Bob were generally disappointing times for the Giants, as they finished no higher than third place in any season, with one exception. The 1978 season was a very memorable season for the Giants. They placed third place in the National League West with an 89-73 record, six games behind the Los Angeles Dodgers. With Candlestick Park's highest paid attendance of 58,545. For the 1979 season, Candlestick Park was converted back to natural grass. And in 1981, the Giants became the first National League team to hire a black manager. And he only lasted four years. The Giants didn't do too well in the early 80s. In 1985, they lost 100 games, but in the later 80s, they did better. In 1986, they won 83 games and won the National League Western Division title in 1987. And in 1989, after 27 years of frustration, they won a National League pennant and got into the 1989 World Series, bringing another World Series to the Bay Area. In the World Series, the Giants were put up against the Oakland Athletics. But just before
before Game 3 at 5.10 p.m., an earthquake hit San Francisco. After a 10-day halt, they finished the games in Oakland A Stadium. The Giants never led in any of the games, losing the 1989 World Series to the A's. After the wake of the disappointing 1989 World Series sweep and the failure to fund a new stadium, the team was put up for sale by the very same man who saved it earlier. And for the first time in a long time, it looked like San Francisco was going to lose its all-star team.